Hi, this is Dr. Neil Patel. Today I'd like to share a clinical case using CEREC and Galileo's integration. This patient is congenitally missing tooth number 11. As you can see, there's a large defect, but adequate soft tissue. Clinical examination reveals a ridge that is in excess of 12 millimeters in width and 20 millimeters in height. But without Galileo's, one would not realize that the true width of the ridge is only 5 millimeters. Our initial examination allowed us to take a Galileo scan as well as a CEREC scan. Using CCAT's proprietary base plate and a triad rope, we are actually able to take a registration intraorally and light cure that. This is all done on appointment one. In addition to this base plate, we're also providing a master model, as you can see here, that allows us to send this file to Germany. Here we see the CEREC plan. The CEREC plan allows us to capture surface data and superimpose that on the Galileo scan. This allows us to truly virtually plan the case without ever having to do a diagnostic wax up. Here you can see a 4.5 millimeter width ridge. And here's the surface data, which shows a 12 millimeter ridge. Quite a discrepancy. Without Galileos, this surgeon probably would have been in trouble. With this integration, we're actually able to plan the implant placement relative to the CEREC crown. Ideal surgery and ideal restoration. Appointment two, we actually get our surgical guide. This is a fixture attachment that attaches directly to the surgical guide. This allows us to simulate the implant placement on a model prior to any surgery. What we're doing in this point is indexing the soft tissue relative to the cast, notching the cast, and then mounting the implant fixture using this attachment We'll pour this up so that we lock the fixture into a stone model, and this allows us to simulate surgery on the cast. You can see the implant being placed here at tooth number 11. We use a silicone to replace the soft tissue. With this silicone in place, we can actually contour the tissue, simulate surgery, the surgery entirely before it's done, create proper aesthetics and emergence profile. At this point, we can actually fabricate the prosthesis, whether it's a temporary or the final. In this case, we chose to do a temporary. Temporary abutment with a provisional material. Here's the provisional itself. It's a screw retained prosthesis. This will be placed the day of surgery. So without further ado, let us begin the surgery.